Hello everyone, today we are going to continue with the topic of DIY rejuvenating face masks. In my previous video I told you about a face mask you can do out of cornstarch. And today I want to share with you a recipe where the main ingredient is also starch and the resulting product is going to be a great base for a huge variety of different face masks. Starch is a great ingredient because it gives the results very quickly and you can notice the effect after the first use already. It's not an allergic substance and works for every skin type, even sensitive skin. The only contradictions would be personal intolerance or skin damage or inflammation. Starch contains vitamin B that speeds up skin rejuvenation. Vitamin C, which is one of the strongest antioxidants. Iron, calcium, phosphor and potassium, which speeds up the exchange processes between cells. It's very easy to make a base for a starch mask. For that, you need one tablespoon of starch, adding 150 milliliters of water, heat it up, constantly whisking it till it gets thick. But don't let it boil. This is how it should look as a result. You can store it in the fridge for several days. And it's very convenient if you do a course of face masks on daily basis. For the face mask that we are going to prepare today, you are going to need two teaspoons of starch base, two teaspoons of sour cream, half a spoon of your favorite oil, and one teaspoon of cocoa powder. Mix it all together. Any oil would work for this face mask, like olive oil, peach oil, almond oil, or grapeseed oil. Cocoa powder works for every skin type, it's very nourishing, it smoothens your skin and refills it with vitamins. And it smells like chocolate, so it really boosts your mood as well. But before using this face mask, you should make sure that you don't have a personal intolerance of any of the ingredients. Applying the face mask to your skin and leaving it on for 15 minutes. And while I'm wearing this face mask, I'm going to share with you a couple more recipes that you can do using the starch base. So prepare to write down other recipes. It's almost like in a sauna. Why sauna? A spa center. So are you gonna tell us something? Well, it smells so good. And probably it's really tasty. <laughs> it actually smells delicious though. What's your problem? Like, why don't you like how it looks? You can also apply it around your eyes, but it feels so nice on your skin as well. I really, really recommend it. Where to? On my beard? And on your chest, maybe? <laughs> or maybe your neckline? I even have some left for you. Okay, maybe on my nose or forehead or ears. Yeah, ears. <gasps> I forgot to share the other recipes with you. So stop making fun of me. And I already know that it's gonna look hilarious. So don't let any man or child see this and now I'm going to share with you recipes of rejuvenating face masks. Okay, turn on the camera. It's been turned on this whole time. Okay, now turn it off then. I wasn't prepared. Starting off with a recipe of hydrating mask that is going to help you get rid of unwanted wrinkles. One tablespoon of starch base, one tablespoon of banana puree, and one tablespoon of cream. 
applying this face mask and leaving it on for up to 30 minutes. For a rejuvenating face mask, you are going to need one tablespoon of starch base, one tablespoon of fish oil and one tablespoon of mashed avocado. You can leave this face mask on for up to 40 minutes. This face mask is rich with omega-3, which slows down aging. And one more face mask that is going to be great for oily skin as well, as well as for the skin that tends to get pigmentation. For that you are going to need one tablespoon of starch base, one teaspoon of curcuma and two tablespoons of buttermilk. Curcuma is rich with vitamins and microelements. It has brightening and antibacterial properties. You should leave this face mask on for 15 to 20 minutes. And another face mask that is great for aging skin. You're going to need one tablespoon of starch base, one tablespoon of sour cream, and two tablespoons of carrot juice. Carrots for ages are known for its rejuvenating properties. You should leave this face mask on for 15 to 25 minutes. You can alternate and every day decide which face mask you want to do today until you still have your starch base. Then let your skin rest and after some time you can get back to those face masks. Thanks to the starch base you can actually experiment with the ingredients of your face mask. Adding egg yolk, honey, cinnamon or aloe vera. As you can see these face masks are very cheap but very effective. At the end of the procedure rinse your face mask off with warm water and apply some warm green tea as a toner. If you found this video useful make sure that you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. And click the bell to make sure you see our newest video.